Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and um, this is a Blu-ray update, and I apologize for not getting this out sooner, um, just the videos that I recorded specifically for this type, uh, they didn't turn out well, and several other things were going on, Mother's Day, allergies flared up, and those type of things happened, so, anywho, the Blu-rays that I'm about to show you, the prices... Are pretty, most um, majority of them are pretty much the same except for two, but it's still a pretty good price. And most of these Blu-rays that I bought were three ninety nine, and I don't know if you can ever get any lower than that, unless if you went to Big Lots and you'll see a few titles for three dollars or even under. But from what I understood, about two or three weeks ago, um, I think they don't sell Blu-rays anymore, and that sucks. I, they discontinued selling them for some reason. And that was the main reason why I would go there sometimes is because of that, just to get a hold of their of their Blu-rays. Because so, sometimes there'll be some Blu-rays which are a Blu-ray DVD combo for five bucks and I thought that was pretty that was a pretty awesome price, a steal if if you may. But now I, I guess they don't do that anymore which sucks but I will admit HB gets a better hold of uh, some premier titles, better but much better than uh, Big Lots did, but Big Lots had their fair share. But I think HB's done a much better job. But anyways, unfortunately I have a time limit, so we better get on with this. Anywho, I'll start with last week's uh, Blu-rays that I got. This one is The French Connection with Gene Hackman. It's um, It was directed by William Freakin. He's directed several classic movies. I'm not going to uh, name, name, name them all off the top of my head, so... Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely give this a look in the near future. Next up, I have The Descendants with George Clooney. And it's, it's, it's typical George Clooney, and I'm sure it'll be a solid film. So I've been wanting to check this out, and I, I don't mind Seth Rogen. Some people like him, some people don't, but I don't mind him. And it's uh, The Green Hornet. I'm curious about this film, because... It looked interesting. I don't know if it was enough to see at the theaters, and and I figured I might as well give this a look for at this price for cheap. So next up, um, I know nobody really likes this film, or or don't or they don't exactly like these type of directors. It's a seltz, it's a seltzer and freebird type of film. They've done parodies. They done the first one they did was date movie, uh, epic movie. Uh, Meet the Spartans, a uh, disaster movie, and this movie here, Vampires Suck. And I've seen it before, and it, was, it wasn't it was too bad. Had some funny moments, and it was a pretty cheap price. And, yeah, I think if I got nothing better to do, and if I want to watch a stupid comedy, I think this would, this would be it. At least it's not a disaster like disaster movie was. <laughs> Okay, and I got some other titles here, and um, this one here is uh, Date Night with Steve Carell and Tina Fey, and you get two versions on the Blu-ray, and for this price, you can't go wrong on that. Next up, I have uh, the original uh, Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze. Never fully watched it. I've, I've, I've seen some of the movie, but haven't fully watched it, and now that I have it, I get to. Next up, um, I remember seeing some of this film, and it wasn't too bad. I, I probably will only get these in case if I ever, you know, have a date or something like that, if, if that happens anytime soon. And this is uh, What Happens in Vegas with uh, Ashton Kutcher and Cameron Diaz. And, yeah. Next up, I have a, I have a pretty well-known actor, or comedian, I should say. He did, he did, he, I have seen the first one, and I remember liking it, and it's uh, Big Mama's House 1, and it's actually Big, it's, I also has a sequel. I remember seeing parts of the sequel, haven't fully watched it, but I remember seeing the first one and thought it wasn't too bad of a film. And since it has two movies on there, and believe it or not, it has, um, it has all the extras, I guess, from the previous DVD or Blu-ray. And for this price, for two movies and features, I say that's an awesome steal right there. 
And next up, I have this uh, well-known classic with Robert De Niro. I remember seeing it at, when I was at school. And it was like years ago that I saw it, finally. But anyway, that, not, to, uh, not to tread on that. It's a uh, Raging Bull. And uh, never had the DVD before, and now I, I have it, so... Okay, next up I have, um, I know that Matt and Mike probably are not big fans of this movie, but uh, I figured if, if I get around to it, maybe I'll fully watch it. Maybe it, it, won't, it, maybe it won't be too bad, but it's uh, Max Payne, and it has the theatrical and unrated versions on the Blu-ray. So, um, yeah, definitely give that a look at some point, too. Next up, I also have... Um, it's one other film that I got, and uh, even though it says Blu-ray and DVD, um, it does say Blu-ray only, and it's uh, Labor Day, and it has Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin, and those are pretty pretty good actors themselves, and I've been curious about this film, so I'll check it out when I have time. And oh yeah, get these films over here that I bought the week before last, and... Uh, this one here is the original. It has Dustin Hoffman in it, and it's uh, Straw Dogs. I do know there's a collector's edition out on DVD, but some people were wanting some pretty high-range prices. One person wants around 30-something bucks. One person wants around 60 bucks, and I sure as hell ain't going to pay for that. Despite the fact that it doesn't have very much features, hardly any at all, in fact, it's um, it just has a trailer and TV spots. Because, unfortunately, the collector's edition had some more extras, and unfortunately, they didn't import them over, and it kind of sucks, but I'm fine with this. I'm pretty sure it'll be good. I haven't seen this, but I like Dustin Hoffman, and I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll be solid for sure. Next up, I have seen this movie. It's been a while, but I remember always liking it. It's definitely a chick flick, but guys should definitely like it, and I remember liking it too myself. So, and It's The Princess Bride. And thankfully they have all the special features from the special edition. I've been wanting to get it, but I uh, I never did. And now that I have it for this price, I can't turn that down. Next up I have uh, the Tom Cruise movie, Jack Reacher. And once again it does say Blu-ray DVD, but it just says Blu-ray only. So, But I'm fine with that. And, um, and if I do have the DVD, it's a bonus, but... I'm content with the Blu-ray because that's what I'm mainly getting them for, mainly for the picture and the features. It's what I also kind of go for, but if it's at a reasonable price like like this, I can't turn it down. So there you go. And I have some other films like I I have the original, another original film, The Manchurian Candidate. I haven't seen this, but I'm sure it'll be a Pretty uh, nice little thriller there. And, um, yeah. Definitely we'll give that a look at some point, too. And uh, next up... I uh, have several other more from HEB right here. I have... Uh, I remember seeing this before, and I definitely enjoyed it. I like Tom Selleck. It's uh, Quickly Down Under. Yep, and it also has Alan Rickman in it, and he plays a really good villain in here. There's no question that Alan Rickman is uh, an uncanny actor. He can play some good guys. He can also play villains so well, like he did in Die Hard, and just like he did in this movie. And I haven't seen the Harry Potter films. Maybe one day if I might give them a watch, but it's not my cup of tea, so... But he's good in this film, and I like Tom Selleck, and so... Someday down the road, I'll watch it again. And I have another George Clooney film. It's called The American. It seemed like an interesting little thriller, so maybe I'll check that out too at some point. And I actually originally had this downloaded, but it wouldn't play. But I saw it on sale for this price, and that's Rescue Dawn. Looks like a good film. I like some more drama films like this. And um, it's got Christian Bell. I know he ain't perfect, but you know what? I like his acting, and now I have this, and so proud to add it to my collection. 
I have another Tom Cruise film that I brought probably about a month ago, and it's uh, Valkyrie. I, s I have seen this film, and I thought it was good. It sort of drags in places, but it's definitely a good little historical film on how these people try to thwart Adolf Hitler and and what their sacrifice meant, so... Yeah, it's a good film. I like it. Watch it at some point. This film I haven't seen, and I do like Don Cheadle, and um, I like to think it'll be a good film, so it's uh, Hotel Ronda. And the other Blu-rays that are not three ninety nine, but I still got them for like $4.26. Um, no... Four dollars. Sorry, I learned. I'm sorry. They were st they were still around. They're still pretty cheap. They're like four fifty something rather. But this one's a Silver Linings Playbook. I don't mind Jennifer Lawrence. I know that she can turn in a good performance if she wants to. And uh, I know people are not fond of her mystique. I don't mind her, though. I have to admit she's kind of taken on more of a Katniss role in the upcoming X Men Apocalypse. But I'm still going to go see that movie because I'm a big X-Men fan and and I'm not going to let Jennifer Lawrence try to stop me from that. So, But yeah, I like this film with her in it. She did she did a great job and so did Bradley, Bradley Cooper. And it had a good supporting cast from Robert De Niro and Chris Tucker's also in it. So, But yeah. And the last one is a Matthew McConaughey film. It's called Mud, and um, saw a little bit of it. Seemed interesting, and uh, now I have it on for this for uh, for my collection, and now I'll get to fully watch it and see how it turns out. But that's not all the Blu-rays that I have. I have like eighty plus more, I think, but. If I get a better camera, I might do my entire Blu-ray collection. But for now, that's what I got. And uh, as for a movie review, I don't know what I'm going to do. To be honest, now that I have this time limit, maybe I'll do it in parts because of this. But I do know this. It involves a movie that came out last week, and I'm going to start off with the first one, the second one, and the one that I saw recently last week. But it, and it's and I think you know what it is. I think you know what it is. It starts with the C. And um, he's a superhero, so I'm not going to spoil it for you. But anyways, stay tuned for a movie review of of the. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say it. Some people might know, but anyways, it's Captain America. I'm going to do the first one, the second one, and eventually I'll do the I'll do the third one. Civil War. And I enjoyed them. Enjoyed them all. Anyway, stay tuned for that first movie, and we'll see you later.